I'm so excited about the referendum. What are you on about? Brexit was ages ago. No, I'm talking about the NUS disaffiliation referendum. It's going to be the biggest thing since Malia refused to condemn ISIS. Malia? What are you on about? Yeah, Malia, you know? No, I've only been to Zante. No, I mean Malia Buatia, the NUS president. Don't you know how this affects you? Not really. Well, there's this organisation called the National Union of Students which claims to speak for us and uses £51,000 of our SU's money um, to implement important motions such as bringing down the government and rejecting one member one vote which means people like you and me can't vote for our NUS president because who wants democracy anyway? Sounds boring. No, but you don't understand. If we vote to leave the NUS, safe spaces will be gone. Yik Yak will return and Zionist outposts might even thrive. Right, so by staying part of the NUS, we're actively damaging free speech and trying to ban an app, all while student fees go up? You haven't told me a single good thing about them. Where's that music coming from? Just listen. If we want representation, there is only one organisation that we should turn to. US making university safer, no platforming any speaker, although they'll endorse the occasional hate preacher. Free speech, yeah, it's overrated and targeting extremists is simply racist, but those Zionists, those Zionists creating outposts everywhere they go, controlling the media, they own all the shows, but we need to have no fear, as Malia Buati will make them disappear. If you still feel like you're being attacked, don't worry, NUS will get rid of your cack and you know you won't have to face any harm because the world is a safe space. So, from what I gather, this NUS leaders referred to some universities as Zionist outposts and commented on the Zionist-led media? Yes, so? And she's never apologised, even though it's offended Jewish students all across the country. Yes, you're right. So the woman who's supposed to lead this whole movement refuses to apologise to any Jewish students at all. Seems a bit dodgy to me. And they all spend so much time at this NUS conference every year, refusing to give every student the vote, and then they vote in this anti-Semitic leader? Come on, it's only anti-Semit. Anti-Zionism, phew. <laughs> That was close. And £51,000 goes to that institution from us every single year. Maybe if we put it into our own student union, I'd make the trek from the ass. I guess you're right. The fact that NUS elected Malia is a bit worrying. Undemocratic, unrepresentative, and unreformable. Bristol out of NUS it is. Bristol out of NUS it is. Cue music. Under the leadership of Miss Buatia. Ah.